Hello and welcome back to Game Time. I'm your host Jackie and today we're doing a segment that I like to call Dumb Baby Games. And this is where we test out dumb baby games from our embarrassing past and see if they hold up and are still fun now that we're cultured, worldly adults with all kinds of knowledge and experience and regrets. So today we're featuring you know it, that old classic, Kerplunk. Remember Kerplunk? It's a dumb baby game that requires no skill. There's no luck or chance involved. There's no math. There's hardly even any turns. Everyone that plays it is dumb, and you're a dumb baby, and you still get snacks made from your mom. Now, look. You and I both know it. There's supposed to be more players than just one. And I keep telling you that my friends are busy, and they are my friends, but they're just busy every time I do a game time, OK? It's the truth. So this is how it works. You take all your frizzle sticks and you spend three hours putting them haphazardly with no rhyme or reason through the holes. And the colors don't mean anything. They're just to dazzle a baby's eyeballs. When babies set up Kerplunk, they're like, wow, wow. <laughs> and perhaps at this stage when you're setting up Kerplunk alone, perhaps the clock is ticking loudly behind you. Perhaps there's a pet looking at you doing this, demanding nourishment. But the key is just to ignore everything else and turn it almost into a meditative practice of patience and self-discipline. Get in there, yes! So what you're really making here really is kind of like a trap, like a booby trap for the Oh my god, am I allowed to say booby on TV? A booby trap for the marbles. Oh, look at beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work. So now you unravel your baggie of marbles. You undo it without anyone helping you. And then you, I guess, loudly dump the marbles into your booby trap. Oh my god, oh my god. It's not part of the game, but it is almost a game in itself, because are these gonna hold? I guess some Kerplunk scientist somewhere in a lab did know that yes, these twiggles, twiggly sticks, will hold the marbles. So here's how Kerplunk works. One person takes a stick, then the next person takes a stick, the next person takes a stick, and yes, marbles will fall. That's part of life. You can't control it. Marbles will fall. But you're trying to not let any marbles fall. So the first step is bring it towards you so no one else can touch it while it's your turn. And what I'm going to do is I'm player number one right now, and I'm pointing the marble shoot at me. So if I let any marbles fall, I ain't got no one to blame but myself. Crack, crack, like a pro. Okay. Oh, that was so close. Oh my god. Player number one is pretty good. So now I'll switch it to player number two. Okay, now I'm player number two. I'm different. I wish I had friends here. <gasps> I don't know if I can keep going. Player number three now. Third, third. I'm even dumber than the first two. <laughs> I love being other people and escaping outside of myself for a bit. Oh my god, I can't believe how good this is. Okay, player number four. I'm player number four. I go last in everything always. Okay, so the first round, not a single marble fell. That's amazing. Obviously, the person who set this up was really good and pretty much an architect. So we go around to player number one again. That's me again. Huh. Maybe the marbles just will never ever fall and then it'll be uh, an attraction that people come around and see from miles and miles and pay me money to see all my marbles that never fell even though there's no sticks. Oh, oh my god, no! Well, player number one is screwed. They're already way in the ditch. Oh my god, okay, all right, all right, all right. That was just one. Not so bad. Is anyone else's heart racing? There goes a greenie. Oh my gosh, this one is on a really, really precarious angle. This is a night, this is a living nightmare what you're watching here. Ah! Oh my God. See, it just goes to show you can't broil yourself up and bog yourself down with this negative thinking because as far as you know, everything could be okay in the end. This is Life Lessons of Kerplunk. Oh my God, that was the worst one yet. Ah! keeps happening. That was 12 
thousand marbles fallen. Uh, if no marbles fall here, this is incredible feat of engineering on my part. Oh God. <laughs> See, I flew too close to the sun like Icarus with his wax wings and I burned to death. Well, there you have it. Think of how much fun it'll be next time when I'm with all my friends and they can finally come over and be players two, three, and four, and one, and, and I'm not everybody. Well, join us next time when that happens with all my friends on Game Time. Wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back, hold on. I have an idea. I just thought of something. So, I never told anyone this before, but one time in high school, I brought Kerplunk to a cool beer party, and all the cool bullies at the party laughed at me so hard for bringing Kerplunk. They like made fun of me like crazy, so bad that I got laughed right out of the party and laughed right out of high school. They expelled me from high school because everyone was laughing at me so bad. So, I've got an idea for you. If you ever want to bring Kerplunk to a cool beer party full of bullies, you still can without being laughed at. It's a new invention I thought of. It's called Kerdrunk. So all you gotta do is bring your game of Kerplunk and don't forget to also bring your best and most cold bottle of polar ice vodka. <coughs> a movie magic. So all you gotta do is get your vodka like I say, make sure you get a shot glass because you don't wanna be a dirt ball drinking it right out of the bottle. And you go ahead and play your Kerplunk, but there's a twist with Kerdrunk. Every time you let marbles drop, you take a shot and get wasted. And then everyone will finally think you're cool. So here we go. Crack, crack. <clears throat> oh Lord, not a great start. But now finally is a chance to look cool in front of your bullies. Oh, frosty and freezing cold vodka. Okay, that's how you play it. And I made it up, so I have to keep doing it. Thank the Lord. Oh, I really don't like drinking. Oh, a marble is spinning in there. Oh God, oh, please don't let it drop. Just kidding, I love drinking and getting drunk. Arf. Oh man. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> as long as they think I'm cool. Here we go then. Oh yeah, oh look at that fine distilled vodka. <laughs> Here we go then. Uh, it's good. <laughs> oh, just gotta take a second there. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> All right. Oh God, okay, oh, it's so loud in my ears with my brain also thudding. Okay, fine, I'm not scared. I'm not scared of doing that. Oh yeah, look at those legs and all that. Oh, and a rich bouquet of um, boiled potatoes or however they do it. Mm. Oh, a doubled sipper. Mm. Oh, flavors country, yeah. <laughs> oh God, I mean, bottoms up then. Actually, it starts not, not tasting as bad after you had a couple. Oh yeah, oh I love vodka. It makes me feel so hot and skinny and sexy too. <laughs> I'm gonna go out to the bar after this and have more even sips. Oh well. Oh. Well, keep them coming then, because I'm not scared of drinking anymore. And at this point in the party, all my bullies would be so afraid of me because of how tough I am drinking. The gain, yeah. Hearth. Oh, okay, fine. Oh, you want me to be more ladylike with my glass? Fine. I can do this, I'm not scared. Uh, 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 huh, okay. At least when I do the, uh oh, that's the last that part of that, no way. All right, well, I guess I'll just do this all at once. 
And there you have it. That's how you do cur drunk. And then all your bullies will like you. You don't, don't get kicked out of school. You get to drink delicious vodka. And then you get to uh, take your game home and go home now. Bye now. See you in the next game time.